What's going on guys, Bo here, welcome to the PK series from scratch. On screen now are the rules to the series and as always I hope you enjoy this episode. On screen now are the goals of the series and currently we are working on goal number one which is to kill another player. What's going on guys, Bo here, welcome to episode four of my PK series from scratch. And following off from the last episode, I just bought myself a Dragon Scimitar or Scimitar. I don't know how to pronounce it, and I said that last video. Pretty much, now I've got this weapon. This is the best weapon I can really have for killing monsters. So now I can pretty much take out some high level monsters to earn some new items. So here we go. So with my new pimped out gear, I'm going to go and kill some Necreals to try and get myself some rude boots. While I'm there, I'll also be getting a lot more seeds. So my first uh, Necreal inventory, unfortunately no room boots, but I think the inventory itself is a very decent one to leave with. Lots of Alcables, which should be able to put me up to about 40,000 GP again, which will put me closer to buying myself some rune legs from the Champions Guild. So pulling out the Alc runes, let's take out these Adamant legs first for 3.8k each, which is pretty good, putting me onto about 13, 14k. And then once I'm done with this, we'll take out this Mithril Shield and the Steel Weapons. And finally, we will be alking the room for her to put us onto 37k or 38k. And I'd just like to say that the Necreals are a brilliant sort of death runes, which means I now have 35 vengeance runes when I come down to PKing. So that has saved me a lot of time, and that will dice brilliant. Now I'm going to be buying buckets from wherever I can really get them. I'll just buy them from the one store at the moment, so I can get some super compost to plant my herb seeds that I've got so far just to make myself some extra potions. I've decided to make super compost by the way so I can get the maximum output from the herbs themselves to get the most herbs possible to get the most potions possible. If that will obviously makes sense. Unless you're me. Just uh, taking compost from a compost bin as you do, not a compost pile. That's my phone vibrating. But uh, I'm going to put this to the guy here and then I'm going to plant myself Quarms and Irrits first of all to make myself some pure sets which are also super strengths and super attacks who do not know that. With all my seeds planted I'll be back to those in about 80 minutes or so to farm them. Now I am going to give Necreals another attempt to see if I can get myself some green boots. Before I actually go there I did take quite a lot of damage there last time due to my pretty poor armor and the fact that I have no super defense potions so uh, I don't know how else to get white berries apart from to farm them. I have no seeds so I'm just going to go and pick up some white berries at the red dragons in the wilderness hopefully not get PK'd and with that I can make myself a small amount of um, super defenses just to get me through now and then when I can plant the seeds I'll make a lot more for more protection later before I start making myself Saradamin brews. Kind of hoping I don't really die to a dragon here. I don't actually know where the red, the white berries are. Unless, actually, I think this is a yeah right. Okay, so there's one. There's only two. That's going to take ages. Oh, well. never mind. That's got some fast respawn rate. Look at that. How much are these worth? Mm, not amazing. Never mind. Thought it'd be a good money making technique, like on par with snake grass, but nope, not really. <laughs> if I die going to the bank now, I will not be happy. Pretty sure this guy down here, well, one of these, I think they're both the same, sell so, vials of water, vial of water pack. I will take two of those and get myself some vials of water. How many do I get? A hundred, brilliant. That should be able to make a lot of potions there. I should be sorted for potions for a while now once these her seeds of herbs have seeded. So I've got a fair amount of money now, so I'm going to create myself some unicorn stallion pouches so that I can stay at the Necreals for a much longer than I can with lobsters and prayer flicking soul splits, so I might be able to get some room boots in the next trip with a couple of unicorn scrolls. Along with uh, some unicorn stallions, I think considering that the Necreals are in multi-combat, that a Steel Titan would probably be more effective considering my accuracy bonuses are fairly low, it means I hit a fair amount of zeros, and a Steel Titan will definitely Pro will most, most likely be more effective than a Unicorn Stallion in multi-combat and I'll be saving my Unicorn Stallions for when I'm in a non-multi-combat area and need health. And judging by my rage in the uh, box, I accidentally banked my pickaxe. Got my iron ore, now it's time to make some steel plate, well steel bars, then some steel plates. 
Okay, so I've just finished my, I think it's my first random of the series, so from here I can choose a reward which may help me later on, so I'm hoping for half keys and diamonds really, so let's just see what I get. And an uncut diamond, taking that straight away, I now need one more diamond to finish my clue scroll off. Just miffing the mithril plates, to, not mithril plates, steel plates even, to create my steel titans with, but the shards are going to cost me quite a bit, so I probably won't be making steel titan scrolls, because I would consider that a big waste of money. So I'll be making myself five steel titan pouches. So I need 178 shards, so I need to buy 800 and something, so if, oh no, that was close. So I bought myself 800. I believe I only need 790, so let's go create these. 890. So there's uh, 5 steel titan pouches, and now to go kill some necreal. Now to make 5 unicorn pouches, so I need... I believe that is 700, which may put my cash pile down. I don't think I can afford it. Damn. I'll just leave it with 4 for now, so I'm going to keep... I'm going to make two scrolls and 20 scrolls that should do me fine but i think i should only use one pouch with those 10 20 scrolls so i should have spares for later on when they are needed <laughs> what are the odds of getting 100 silver or while killing these i could probably smith those into bars and sell them to the shop for about 5k maybe brilliant it's kind of getting not really annoying but people keep coming in dropping me items to try and try and help me along with the thing the point of this is that I earn everything by myself, pretty much. And you coming in dropping room boots and weapons and stuff to help me get there faster, I would, I'm would i not going to take them. That's a waste of your room boots there, mate. No disrespect to you, please just let me do this alone because it would just be so much more fun for me, really. I'm really enjoying making this. Just got another Torstal Seed there. Unfortunately, there is really no point to Torstal Seeds in this series, really. I don't need to make overloads unless I go to some sort of boss and I don't really need to make Zamrat brews because they are kind of pointless so really I'm just gonna leave them there if I ever get a reason to use them then I'll keep them I guess another close one here but soul split saved the day but unless I get room boots now another can't really say failed trip I've got tons more herb seeds again and a ton of deference which is brilliant so I'm going to now do a farm run so I just out all the items from my neck reels and I recorded, didn't turn on, obviously. But I'm now on 30k cash pile, which means I'm getting closer to my room. I think I'm going to buy room plate legs next. I think you can buy those at the Champions Guild, but I'll find out. Don't mind getting a skirt either. Also, I'm getting, I'm pretty much just going to be staying at the neck reels until I get my room boots. I just did a farm run as well and got those herbs with one dead patch and I planted more. So I'll be doing more farm runs to get lots of potions. But pretty much I won't be leaving the neck reels until I get hold of a pair of room boots. Why, of all my seeds to die, did the snapdragons have to die? They were, oh, they were just the one seed that I liked, and it dies. One away from being healthy as well. Well, yep, two out of two dead so far. Brilliant. I think before I go back to Necreals, I'm going to create the items I need for my clue scroll, and then first I need to mine a diamond again. So it's round two for a diamond. It's not happy to get diamonds. They don't really like me, but once I get one, I can just go and finish off my clue scroll. I can probably get some good armor from that, hopefully some rune ones, and then I can make myself some... I don't even know what I have to make, so I'm going to risk it and make a diamond ring, and just hope I really needed to make one. But yeah, once I've made this, I can possibly get some more clue scrolls, and then I can possibly get more rune armor, so that should be sweet. And uh, once I've done this next step with the clue, I will be going back to Necreals for some rune boots. Today is a lucky day, I got it after four swings, so I'm going to cut that, and I need to make an amulet of power with that, but while I'm here, I'm just going to go and catch all these implings, see what I can get off these. Right, so um, this amulet of power should also come into handy when I get round to ranging things, if I ever do range things again, because I it has range bonus, which is brilliant, but there we go. Got my amulet of power, so now to travel to the Kuramja Banana Plantation. Okay, so it's time to kill the double agent, and first of all, I need to do the emote, and then I will just quickly kill this, and I forgot my dragon dagger, but once I've killed this, I'll probably move on to the next step of the clue scroll, if I can do it. And, mister, you got absolutely... Owned. So, next clue, talk to Yuri, and what do I found? My next clue is 
I can do that as well. I'll do that and then I'll leave the next clue for the next episode. I've always hated this one. I can usually never find it. So I actually pinpointed you when I used to do clues. That it is exactly southeast of the fairy ring where that is just on the corner of the minimap. So, okay, that's a lot of help actually. So I can just run over here and finish it off. So I need to find the panic one, which is there. And hopefully it's going to let me do it before something attacks me. Hurry up, hurry up. Where is it? Where's it gone? Please do it. That's not fair. That's not fair. All right. Right, gotcha. So now to kill this one. So if I put all this on, and I actually remembered my dragon dagger for this time. So let's go. So now this one's died, let's talk to him, unless this is the end of the clue, which it's not. My next clue will be, as soon as it lets me read it. Right, a room full help. Right, let me teleport out and then I'll check what these are. So if I teleport to the cabbage patch. Okay, so I need to get a fire battle staff. Now for that, I need to buy a battle staff. I can get that off the guy. I need to make myself a orb and I need to enchant it. Blue dragon hide chaps, just need to kill two blue dragons and the room full helmet, I'll probably get another one at Necreals, I'll save that. So, this part of the clue will be answered later on. So while I'm here, just passing through to go to the Necreals, I may as well buy myself a battle staff. So how do I actually get them? I think I have to talk to him and then I'll be, I'll leave this in the bank until really I need it. Oh, who would I talk to here? Naf. Oh yeah, that'll be alright, I'll buy one of those and... How do I not have enough coins? What? Okay, maybe I have to withdraw him. So I'll withdraw 7k and buy myself a battle staff. And with that, I will be making myself the fire battle staff in a later episode. Right, I've got loads of toad flat potions, but I don't actually have any bird's nests. So I need to get some. So I'm trying to find where to buy myself a rune hatchet. And I thought it was sold here, but apparently it's not. But while I'm here, I need 64k to buy myself some rune legs. So I'll have to come back here later. As for now, I need to find where to buy a hatchet, else I'm going to have to mine for a mithril one. So I don't actually think you can actually get hold of an adamant hatchet anywhere, so I'm just going to quick make myself a mithril one. Unfortunately, I can't actually mine adamant, so I can't get make my own, so I'm just going to make myself a mithril one, which should be fine. And most likely, I'm just going to go and cut willows or oaks to get as many bird's nests as I can. Got one, fairly short in, and I've got a acorn seed, don't really need that, so I'll just go back to cutting, but there's one made. There's my second one, so let's see what herb I get, well seeds, so I've got an apple tree seed, don't need that, but now I've got two bird's nests. Bird's nest number three, and we have a, and he's also got a bird's nest, we've got another acorn, so no need. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that's a nice surprise after trying to get my bird's nest, 80 wood cutting. Now I'm making eight sour brews, three doses, and I'll combine these into four doses, and that will give me six brews, which will be great, and I'll probably be saving these for PKing, so that is the brews done for now. I can always make more if I need to. Time for another cheeky little farm run, and for once, my herbs actually survived, so now I can get a decent amount of corms. Unfortunately, I don't have another snapdragon seed, so I'm going to have to go and get another snapdragon seed, hopefully from Necreals, to make myself some super restores. You're a tree, mate. Considering I have tons of herb seeds and I'm probably getting more all the time, I'm going to be making more super compost and he's run out. I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. Oh well. Collecting more secondaries like a bows. Why does everyone sell battle axes? Why can't you sell an adamant hatchet for me? God, oh, curse you, Brian. Collecting more secondary ingredients like a bows. Making potions like a bows. And I think throughout this entire episode, I keep saying that I'm going to go back to Necreals, then go somewhere else. At least I can finally say I'm going back to Necreals. Hopefully I can get some rune boots this time. After only three kills, I get my rune boots, so now I can leave the Necreals, and it's time to kill something else. Now that I've got my rune boots, pretty much I have full gear, so we are going to be moving on to getting hold of a defender now. I am deciding that I'm going to go and get all the defenders from bronze to rune to do this, to make it more like from scratch. So first of all, time to collect some tokens. Go on, go on. Oh, you beast. Now let's see what the result is. <gasps> yes. I believe 3,000 should be enough to get at least a iron defender really so let's just find out what happens really so I'm gonna gear up and I'm going to use my unicorns for this this is a pretty effective place non-combat and I'll, the more food I have the longer I can stay there for so that would be great thanks for watching episode 4 guys I hope you enjoyed it and as usual on screen now are the links to the previous episode episode 3 and the episode to come which is episode 5 thanks for watching guys and peace <laughs>